hi everyone welcome to ssr classes today we have to prove root 5 is a irrational number so i'm going to use contradiction method to prove root 5 is a irrational number okay so first of all let us assume that root 5 is a rational number so first taking root 5 is a rational number and this is our assumption okay and a rational number can be written in the form of v by q and we take root 5 is a rational number so we can write root 5 equal to a by b okay so here writing root 5 equal to a by b okay and where a b are co prime integer or prime to each other okay I will discuss co prime in this video okay and b never be zero now discussing co prime okay two integers a b are said to be co prime or prime to each other if a b have only one common factor one let us take some example to explain it so first taking example two and 3 and checking whether it is our co prime integers or not now 2 can be divided by 2 on self okay also 2 can be divided by 1 so 2 have only 2 divisor 2 and 1 now 3 can be divided by 3 on self also 3 can be divided by 1 so 3 have also 2 divisor and from this and this we got one common factor and the common factor is one here two three have only one common factor and the common factor is one so we can say that two three satisfy the condition or definition of co prime so two three are co prime integer or prime to each other okay let us take another example to explain it okay let us take 4 and 6 now 4 can be divided by 4 on self okay 4 also can be divided by 2 and 4 can be divided by 1 okay now 6 can be divided by 6 on self and 6 can be divided by 3 and 6 can be divided by 2 and also 6 can be divided by 1 okay so from this and this we got two common factor 2 and 1 okay so here 4 6 have two common factor 2 and 1 which contradicts our definition so 4 6 contradicts so 4 6 are not co prime or prime to each other okay now squaring both side of this so first squaring both side of the above equation of above relation okay so root 5 whole square equal to a by b whole square now simplifying this so this is 5 and this is a square upon b square okay now cross multiplying so 5 b square equal to a square and this is one number one relation okay now we can write b square equal to a square by 5 okay now i'm going to use a theorem if a square is divisible by a prime 5 then also a is divisible by the prime 5 okay let us explain this by taking some example if a square divisible by 5 implies a divided by 5 let us take a equal to 5 so 5 square divided by 5 that's 25 by Five. so this is 5 quotient okay implies that 5 also divided by 5 so 1 
let us take another 10 square by 5 so 100 by 5 so this is to 20 so five, uh, 10 by 5 so 2 okay so a square divided by 5 implies a divided by 5 okay so we can say that a has a a has a common factor 5 other than 1 okay since a has a factor 5 so we can write a divided by 5 equal to c for some constant okay so here now a divided by 5 the quotient is c for some integer c okay let us explain this by taking some example if we take a equal to 5 okay so 5 divided by 5 so 1 so we can write 5 equal to 1 5 into 1 another a equal to 10 okay so 10 by 5 so 2 quotient is 2 so 10 equal to 5 into 2 okay taking another a equal to 15 so 15 by 5 so this is 3 quotient implies that 15 equal to we can write 5 into 3 again if we take a equal to 20 then 20 by 5 equal to 4 so 20 equal to we can write 5 into 4 okay so by this way we can write a by 5 equal to c for some integer c understand we got this relation by from this this okay and from this we can write a equal to 5c for some integer c okay so implies that a equal to 5c now putting a equal to 5c in 1 so putting a equal to 5c in 1 we have so 5b square equal to 5c whole square so 5b square equal to 25c square now cancel the common factor 5 so b square equal to 5c square okay so implies that c square equal to b square by 5 and this is and this is are common similar so we can apply the theorem if b square is divisible by prime 5 then also b is divisible by 5 so we can say that b has a factor or divisor other than 1 okay so from this and from this we can say that a b have common divisor a b have a common divisor 5 other than 1 but first we assume that a b have only one common factor and the common factor is 1 this is our assumption but here we got a b have another common factor 5 other than 1 okay which contradicts our assumption okay so we first assume root 5 is a rational number so this is not correct okay so because we got a b has another divisor other than one so which contradicts our assumption so therefore root 5 is a irrational number okay that's all thanks for watching please subscribe like and comment on my video